My name is Pablo. I am a pizza delivery man in a small Spanish town. It was an ordinary Friday night, full of orders. I was riding my scooter through winding streets when I got a new pizza delivery order. The address was on the outskirts of town, at an old mansion with strange rumors about it. As I approached the house, I noticed it looked abandoned. Dark windows and an overgrown garden didn't inspire confidence. I rang the doorbell, and soon it opened. An elderly man with a kind smile stood at the doorstep. Good evening, sir. Your pizza, I said, trying to hide my nervousness. Good evening, young man. Thank you, come in, I'll bring the money now, he replied, inviting me inside. I entered the house and immediately smelled a strange odor, a mix of old age and something else I couldn't identify. The walls were decorated with antique paintings and tapestries, and the furniture was massive and old. Sit down, don't be shy, the host said, disappearing into one of the rooms. I sat on the couch, trying not to touch anything unnecessary. Suddenly, muffled voices and rustling came from the next room. My anxiety grew. After a few minutes, the host returned, and several other people entered behind him, his wife, son, and daughter. They all smiled, but their gazes were strange, unreal. These are my children, they love pizza, the host said, and I noticed his gaze lingered on me a little longer than necessary. The host's wife brought glasses of wine and offered me a drink. I declined, citing work. Then she sat down next to me, and I saw a knife glint in her hand. Why don't you stay for dinner? She asked, and there was a threat in her voice. I realized I was trapped. I needed to leave immediately but all exits were blocked by these strange people. Suddenly, the host's son grabbed my arm, trying to hold me back. I broke free and dashed for the door. The host and his family rushed after me, but I managed to jump outside and onto my scooter. Turning on the ignition, I heard their screams behind me. I sped through the night streets, glancing over my shoulder. When I was far enough away, I stopped and called the police, reporting what had happened. The next day, the news reported that the police had arrested the family, suspected of cannibalism. Numerous pieces of evidence confirming the horrifying rumors were found in their home. As for me, despite the horror I experienced, I felt relieved to have escaped their trap.